that happened to Mary. On the day of Pentecost, when they were in the upper room, despite losing a child, Jesus, as far as I'm concerned, physically was murdered. Brought the light. They coated him with thieves. Mary was never discouraged. If you read Acts chapter 1, verse 14, she was part of those in the upper room praying for the release of the Holy Spirit. So what have you lost? What have you been through? That you get so heartbroken. You see, these are continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women. And Mary, the mother of Jesus and with his brethren. They were in the upper room. Your love for God should make you overlook your loss. I repeat that again. Your love for God should make you overlook your loss. You think you have lost anything? The Almighty God that formed you, that created all of us, He lost angels. Angels He made. So you bought about losing people you didn't make, you didn't form.
David, bring up all the sons of God has delivered him to our hand. Israel was because of one thing it was demonically connected it was demonically connected the supernatural is the antidote for the diabolical if you want to escape the diabolical you must understand the supernatural if you read first Samuel 17 verse 43 the Bible says, and Goliath cursed David in the name of his God so it wasn't the javelin issue of the javelin, the spear or the stone. First Samuel 17, 43. He cursed David in the name. He invoked and deployed the manifestation. First Samuel 17, 43. He deployed the diabolica and cursed David in the name of his God. And the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with staves? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. David replied the Philistines in the name of the Lord. So it was a battle of gods. It was a battle of gods. It was not a battle of men. It was spiritual. So, Apostle, that's Old Testament. That's an expired law. That's an expired um, testament. We are talking of the New Testament. In the days of the apostles, they were confronted with men who were into... When I talk of wickedness and diabolic, I'm talking of... If you live in a different part of the world, it's called voodoo. It's not the diabolical. Voodoo, witchcraft, it's real. In the days of the apostles, it was so real that when they burnt and destroyed the magic books of all those people who were fighting the apostle, the Bible says it weighed about 50 pounds, if not more. Acts chapter 19, verse 19. You see what you see how in the days of Paul that was the New Testament many of those which used curious acts brought their books together these are voodoo these are witchcraft people and burnt them before all men and they counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver people invested is only in the body today that we are very casual and we are very nonchalant Nonchalant. 
before our, my family gave its life to the Lord, we, 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 we were from a religion. And there was anything we knew in that religion, it was devotion. Not just devotion, passion. At a very, 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 very young age, we'll be told to pray five times. At a very, very young age, we'll be told that part of what we have belongs to the poor. People wonder why I give. We'll be told that is a part of Christ of, uh, of, the, of the worship of whatever we worship or whatever our faith is was but today why people give they give because they are expecting they give because they want they give people will give and say oh i've given i've not gotten anything no the primary reason you should give is because it's part of your christian service when the work of god is going down somewhere and you see it you say no i must be part of this significantly So we are, we are people, a group of people, a generation of people that we are so casual. 50,000 pieces of silver. And if you read verse 24 of Acts chapter 19, you will see how certain people were worshipping their God, Diana. I'm talking of even the New Testament. Paul was confronted with this. For a certain man named Demetrius, a silver smith, which made silver shrines for Diana, brought no small gain unto the craftsmen. 25 don't be don't be slow be fast 25 whom he called together with the workmen of like occupation and says sir ye know that by this craft we have our wealth by this craft moreover ye see and hear that not alone at ephesus but almost throughout all asia this paul had persuaded and turned away much people saying that there be no gods which are made with hands So that not only this our craft is in danger to be set at naught, but also the temple of the great goddess Diana should be despised, and her magnificence be destroyed, whom all Asia and the world worship. It. Meaning, in the time of Paul, there was still massive voodoo going on, massive witchcraft going on. Verse 28. Massive witchcraft going on. When they heard these things, they were full of wrath, and they cried out, saying, Great is Diana of Ephes of the Ephesians. Are you seeing what's going on here? And the whole city was filled with confusion, having caught Gaius and Aristarchus, men of Macedonia, post companion, in travel. They rushed with one accord into the theater. And when Paul would have entered into in entered in onto the people, the disciples suffered him not. They prevented Paul. Paul was ready to go in. They prevented Paul. Certain of the chief of, of Asia, which were his friends, sent unto him, desiring that he would not adventure himself into the theater. In other words, don't even think of it. These people are vicious. These people are vicious. Some therefore cried one thing and some another, for the assembly was confused. The more part knew not wherefore they were come together. That's a different message. That's the generation we are in. Some are talking here. Some are talking here. Another group don't even know why they are talking, but they are just talking. It just explains the different generation of the different um, crowd we have today. But in the days of Paul, it was there. In Acts chapter 8, from verse 9, there was a man that bewitched the whole city there. The man was called Simon. It's, there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of Samaria, giving himself as some great one. Okay, so you see that in the New Testament, all of this were oppression to whom they all gave heed from the least to the greatest. A man cast a spell. I'm trying to let you know that this is real. But as a believer, does he have power over you? No. But does he mean you should fold your hands? No. You have to permanently enforce your victory. But the truth is this. How much of a believer are you? Verse 11. And to him they had regard because that of a long time he has bewitched with them with sorcery. You see, prolonged and protracted demonic oppression is terrible. When somebody has been bound for a long time, it's terrible because the mind becomes clumsy. 
it's even dark into the truth. It takes the illumination of God's word to permit. We are going to pray a prayer today. Every manifestation of wickedness contending my prophecy expire. Amen. Every manifestation of wickedness contending my prophecy expire. Amen. Amen. You see, I don't know if tomorrow the Lord will permit me again to continue on the book. I'm seeing that time is going and we have to pray to expand shade and continue. If you want us to continue, you want us to continue on that, you can just, I mean, my people can just let a check, uh, maybe send a mail or send something, you know, say, yeah, let them continue, continue on this exposition on, on wickedness. And I, I first prophecy, then I'll continue tomorrow because today I want us to pray. Every manifestation of wickedness contending my prophecy expire by fire. Amen. Amen. You will lift up your voice and say, My father, my father, my, my father, father, my father. father. As I begin to pray, as, as I, I begin, begin to pray, every manifestation of wickedness, every manifestation of wickedness today, contending my prophecy. Expire by fire. 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 Your mouth and begin to fire prayer. Sakala da 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 da
Oh, <laughs> 